welcome back to my channel today we are asked to solve for the value of x okay let's start first thing first square root of any number square root of a is equal to a to the power of half so we are going to write this as x to the power of half raised to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 16. Now recall that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is also equal to a to the power of m times n. So we'll now write this as x to the power of half multiplied by x is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 16 x to the power of 1 times x is x over 2, right? Is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 16. Now, let us introduce log to both sides of this equation. Anytime you are solving anything in mathematics and you notice that the variable is the power, just like x is what we are looking for and is the power. You can see it here, you can see it here. That is our power. The only way to solve it is to introduce either natural log or log to both sides, okay? So we either introduce a len or log in base 10 to both sides. Now, I will, I will introduce log to both sides. So I'll have x log x to the power of x over 2 is equal to log 2 to the power of x plus 16. Now, this is the reason because there is a law in log reading, okay? A law in log reading that states that log a to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a so that's where we can bring down this power being a variable and we can solve it once it is the power we cannot solve it and the only thing that can bring it down is the law of log reading therefore we now write this as x over 2 right then log x is equal to this one we come down as well x plus 16 multiplied by log 2. Now we have x over 2 log x is equal to, let's open the bracket, x times log 2 will give us x log 2 plus 16 times log 2 will give us 16 log 2. Is this your first time of seeing this lovely face? If yes, please click the subscription button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos, all right? Give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video and turn on your notification bell. Yes, very, very important. At your convenience, always tune in. There must be something new to watch. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you so much. Thank you very much, okay? Now, back to what we are doing back to what we are doing now we have let's transfer this x log 2 to this side so we subtract this from here because this is plus right so if it crosses this equation side it becomes minus so here we have x over 2 log x minus x log 2 is equal to 16 log 2 so that way we have brought everything concerning x to one side of the equation. All right, now I want to remove these two. And the only way to do that is to multiply both sides of this equation by two, okay? Multiply through by two. So that is exactly what we are going to do now. So we'll have two brackets x over 2 log x minus x log 2 all right is equal to two brackets 16 log 2 now two times this this we cancel this right and we are left with x log x then two times minus this will give us minus 2x log 2 is equal to 32 log 2 all right now we have x here we have x here let's factorize x so if we do that we have x bracket 
log x minus 2 log 2 is equal to 32 log 2. Remember another law of log reading. And this law states that log a log b is equal to log b raised to the power of a. Okay? Alright. So that means that we apply it here. So we have x multiplied by log x minus log 2. Then this will come up to square. Okay? Is equal to 32 multiplied by log 2. All right, let's continue. Let me clean this using this. Have you given us a thumbs up yet? But please, 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 please do that, okay? That is if you actually enjoyed this video. All right, thank you very much. Now, this is B. B. Now, let's solve. So, we have X bracket log X minus log 4 is equal to 32 multiplied by log 2. Okay? All right. Now, at this point, if you see what we have inside the brackets, notice that there is another law of log reading that covers this, okay? The law says that log A minus log B is equal to log A divided by B. Okay, now, let's apply that here. Log x divided by 4, right? Then is equal to 32 log 2. So we can now write this as x log x divided by 4 is equal to 32 log 2. All right. Now we can express 32 as 8 multiplied by 4, okay? But 32 is equal to 8 times 4. 8 multiplied by 4, all right? So we can now write this as x log x divided by 4 is equal to 8 times 4 log 2, all right? So if you look at this, let's divide both sides of this equation by 4. Because I want to have x over 4 this side and x over 4 here. So I can compare it with whatever I'm going to get here. Do you understand? All right. So divide through by 4. So let's divide through by 4. Now, if I do that, I will have x over 4 log x over 4. Can you see that? All right. Is equal to 8 multiplied by 4 log 2 divided by 4. So we have x over 4 log x over 4 is equal to 4. We divide 4 to give us 1. So we have 8 log 2. 8 multiplied by log 2. All right, now I have this here, log this, but this and this are not the same because I want to get the same thing here and here so that I can compare both of them. So the only way to do that is to also um, split it as 2 multiplied by 4. Do you understand? Okay, so I have 8 is equal to 2 multiplied by 4. So we have x over 4 log x over 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 log 2. All right? Now we have x over 4 log x over 4 is equal to... Now, let me change this to 4 multiplied by 2. You are going to see why. 4 multiplied by 2. 
Now remember the law of logarithm that this can become the power of this, right? So we have 4 log 2 to the power of 2. Now we have x over 4 log x over 4 is equal to 4 log 4. This is exactly what we want. We have the same thing here and here. Now let's go ahead and compare. Then I would like you to sit put and see how we proved that the answer we got is correct. Okay? All right. So by comparison, by comparison, we can see that x over 4 is equal to 4 and also log x over 4 is equal to log 4, right? Now let's solve this one, okay? So if we solve this one, let me put my mic up. Okay, right. Now if we solve this one, this is over 1. If we cross multiply, we have x times 1 is x is equal to 4 times 4 is 16. Similarly, if we take the anti-log of both sides of this equation, we'll be left with x over 4 is equal to 4 as well. So if we still do a cross multiplication, our x is 16. Now let us check. Let's prove that the answer we got is correct. So we got that x is equal to 16 using both methods or using both expressions or equations sorry now x is 16 right so we have 16 square root of 16 raised to the power of 16 is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 16 okay now square root of 16 is 4 right so we have 4 to the power of 16 is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 16. Now, is there a way to express 4 in terms of base 2 as well so that we can compare? And yes, 4 can be expressed as 2 to the, to the power of 2. So we have 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 16 is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 16. And remember, our x is 16. Yeah, so I forgot to substitute that. Our x is 16. Our x is 16. Our x is 16. All right. Now, remember that when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n, it's equal to a to the power of m times n. So that means this is same thing as 2 to the power of 2 times 16, right? <coughs> And 2 times 16 is 32. So we have 32 is equal to 2 to the power of 16 plus 16 is also 32. So from here, you can see that the answer we got is correct. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>